for Jim. Did you notice uh, that Jeremy was just trying to get in there so bad to egg you on? No, because Jim's. No, it, it's about. This is a trend. It's about. This is a trend that's been happening lately. The Globers are saying they're not claiming the Globe stuff anymore. I haven't said that. <laughs> no. Two the, the minutes ago, definitely... you were saying you weren't claiming the Globe. So in that didn't. particular conversation, I wasn't at that time. So you. <laughs> But what, what Percentage did was he made a claim and then said because his reasoning for the claim was that he believed that I held a certain position on something, I've now got to support the certain position and before he has to support his claim. Well, that is ridiculous. Convoluted nonsense. No, Jem, you were talking with Kimo for like 20 minutes. He was talking about Flat Earth. You were talking about the globe, okay? Right. So you can, just because you didn't, actually say the explicit words i claim a, the heliocentric model doesn't mean you're, you're not like you know claiming the heliocentric model it's it's implied and it's obvious in my statement that i was only saying that based on right that stance. right but that's true of all arguments so what you're saying is that any argument to any point that we have in this always has to begin with us proving the globe and and no, then it comes it depends on it, what the claim is. And then when we've done that, when we've established that, then you might answer questions. In the meantime, you get to make claims willy nilly about anything you like, unsupported, till we've done that. That's that sounds, what you're saying. Yeah, it, that it sounds fair. Claim, it depends on the claim. If it's an alter, like the alternate hypothesis or the null hypothesis, it's something that we all like. You know, agree on that we sense. For instance, the you know the flat and motionless Earth. Or but not. we don't. Nobody agrees that. Uh, we, all flat earthers agree that. that. No, Earth nobody else agrees that. Observably flat and no. motionless. That's how it presents itself. Well, everyone well, agrees. I've never agreed with that. I think that's um, nonsense. No. So and I don't oh, think anybody everyone else agrees. does either. Everyone agrees with the we don't feel motion part. Even you guys. Yeah. Know. But that does, you can't conclude from the fact that you don't feel motion that that it's not yeah, moving. Yeah, we're just right. saying. That's what everyone it doesn't present that, itself though. as motionless. That's not yes, true. It does. No, it doesn't. It's not evidence. That's to, to that's us, not that's observation, it's motionless. No, it's not. Oh, no, it's that's not. not an observation, that's yes, a conclusion. Yes, that is the observation, yeah. Brenda. That's observation. We, we see, we best see best. it. We, we no, see no, it. Absolutely. Motionless. My best not conclusion evidence. is it's feel not motion. motionless. So, yeah, so I don't feel myself It doesn't myself present itself as such. I don't yeah, see right. my sun moving overhead. So, I mean, that gives you a good I don't see atoms, therefore they don't exist. You know, we actually get theories about these things back in time until they actually able to prove these things with true observations so no lack of observation lack of evidence is not evidence so, so flat earthers begin with the conclusion the earth is flat and then and then refuse to accept any evidence to the contrary that's no, what we flat don't begin with the conclusion we begin with the no, observation no, you say, say the earth i can't feel it moving that's the conclusion all right no. i can't hear anybody can't hear anybody it's getting not a little a bit we're having too much fun can't hear everybody I'm an observation it's a conclusion. too much fun too much fun just one at a time or something We were saying percent. I was just like, you know, they they try to whenever they have the mic basically and and are, you know, uninhibited and uninterrupted. They'll well, Brenda was a fine example of this just a second ago. They'll try to you know mischaracterize the argument completely just to make it seem ridiculous, right? And they'll say that it's a conclusion based off nothing. No, right. it's it's an their observations. That's what if that's I what the the observation. is. That's what the default is. The observation no, no, of the not. Earth is that's observably flat Who's, and motionless. No, no, that's, Who's no, decided? That's Who gets to decide what the default is? How is that? How have you? How have you got that? Why is it qualified as the default? Because what there is, it's axiomatic. It's you know. I don't for think all it's axiomatic at all. Have, if you, if you don't actually believe in in realism and you don't trust your own senses, that's a different thing altogether. No, what but if I anyone said, who no, what if I, I do I do trust my senses, but but the shape of the Earth is something we can know. It is absolutely not an axiom. Yeah, axioms no, are know. things we cannot know and have to assume. What about but the shape this is, of the horizon? You don't know, Gem. You you're still in the trust. Days. This is what I'm trying to get out. We know, you're saying, oh, can we know something? You can't know because you won't go out there 
and actually find out if it is what they say it is. I've described how I know by going out there. I've described that already. No, and we have we have a we have a, a rebuttal. Or the, earth, the Earth is observably spherical and observably not motionless. That's listen, the default on. position. Let me just ask you this: You can't. Can you know something? Know it by trust. So yeah. you say, how? well, yeah. If you have a justified true belief. No, no, no. By trust. That is if you believe belief. it to be true, if you have a justification for not believing a belief, we're to talking be true, about knowing. And 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 if and this is how you this is how I establish knowledge. It starts with a belief that something is true. Then you have to have a justification that that something is true, and then that truth has to comport with reality. No, well, that's, that's not knowledge. the knowing that we're talking about. The well, knowledge, that's knowledge I'm talking then about. You're not no. talking about knowledge. You're not, no, 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 no. If so, you're saying that you, you just know something you by trusting faith? someone, that's not no. How can okay, you know you that? define knowledge then. You define it. So, Jem, you justify it with faith. I'm sorry. You justify it with faith. That's your justification. I didn't no. say. I didn't use the word faith. Well, tr you trust in someone. You have faith. In them, I just right? gave you a measurement of the horizon. Well, but why didn't you just say trust? Okay, so you you just fight with trusting someone. Uh, that's, that's, I could do potentially, yes. That's it. That's that's all you need for for it to be truth in your eyes, just to trust someone. I, I, no, it needs to be justified true belief. Yeah. So the belief is that, and the only thing that makes it true, like you know, justified no. true, is the trust in that person, right? No, 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 no. That's what no. I'm getting at, Jen. You can't no. know something no. just again, on the trust. Again, again, the justification would be the person, the trustworthy person, the reputable source. They would be the justification, okay? The truth would be that what their, whatever claim is being made here it comports with reality. Okay, but trustworthiness Ooh. is subjective. So it right. isn't just it isn't just that you trust them, it's that whatever is being claimed comports with reality. Yeah, but who is your, who is your trustworthy correct? source? Well, we're, we're talking about a general rules for knowledge NASA. here. So, so we aren't talking about a specific knowledge claim. Yeah, gen just... generally, trustworthiness is subjective, right? Like, you might trust someone of course. more than I trust them. Okay. You trust in the so, Lord, Jem. If that's what you should do. So whether a source is reputable or not, it depends completely you know, on Even you. you don't trust in the Lord. Don't be like that. Don't trust in the Lord. That will give you No, I think, I, think a, I think a source I think a source can be I think a source can be judged to be reputable enough uh uh on a uh you know using objective rules. Yeah, I agree with that, Jem, but I want to know who your trustworthy source is. Like who's your source? Well, again, we're not talking about a specific claim. Calm, we're talking stay about calm, Jen. We're talking about general rules. We're talking about general rules of epistemology. We're talking about general rules of epistemology. We're talking about the shape of the earth. You're no, we're not. No, we're not. We're talking that. about epistemology. I am. I'm asking you. Okay, so why are you changing the subject? I'm not trying to change. So I'm just trying to add to it and just say you said you have a trusted source i'd just like no to i didn't that source. i did not source. say that i did not say that at any point did i oh say my god that? you just said it no i just did not say that somebody oh asked me somebody right. asked me if my justification could be a trusted source and i said it could be i did not say i had a trusted source to know the shape of the earth never said you anything said you had trustworthy that. sources that you trusted that's why I asked the question specifically no, I didn't. to no, you. No, I did not say that. I did oh, not say that my either. Goodness. Oh, oh right. my goodness. Oh my goodness. I did Fair not enough. say you that. You didn't say it. Right. No, okay. I didn't Good. say anything Good. even remotely Too close to that. Sorry. You are confused. My hey, my mistake there, guys. Yes, it is. So shut up. So, um, talk about the moon landings then. That will make you any more happy. <laughs> no, the Senate wanted a measurement. That he wanted there. a measurement of the horizon. I posted we, it for him. He wanted, we were talking about what was required for knowledge. If you say that my theory of knowledge is wrong or, or it, inadequate, what is your theory of knowledge? What do you not, require yeah, for, to, for, to commit something as a knowledge claim? I wouldn't throw out all the direct evidence that we have for just you know trust in someone with you know that who's suggesting that why are you why are you saying that 
I want we to have know all this evidence. Percentage. I want to know how you get to a knowledge claim. I didn't My say throw out the evidence and trust somebody. Nobody said that. Yeah, Jim. My, my answer is tr I, I trust, I put my justification in direct evidence, empirical and scientific evidence. Right. And this evidence okay. is verified. It's credible. You know, it's, it's something that can be reproduced. I don't have to appeal to consensus. I don't have to appeal to um, authority. Well, you know, well how do you know it can be reproduced if, if you require it directly yourself? How this, are you in, able to in, then? In this case, Jim, <laughs> because, because... Any, because by definition, a reproduction has to be by not you, right? No, but hold on. Let me answer. Let me, let me answer this a second. People. So, in Go this ahead, case, people. right? But but how? But you're not concerned with multiple people because that wouldn't be direct empirical evidence for you, would it? No, no, it wouldn't be direct empirical evidence. Right. For so, me. so how do, how do you how are you able to check that something is repeatable? If you aren't able to accept evidence from from anyone other than yourself, ultimately, for for me to see that's actually repeatable directly would be to do it myself. But so, uh, other people can do it, and I can see that it's repeatable for them, right? Percent, and then percent, I can make inferences. So you would have to watch somebody else doing this directly in order to ensure that something. Yes, is repeatable. because we now become judge and jury. Yeah, if there is a case, oh, if you, if there is a case, then you are, you know, the executor, now the judge, well, the judge. You're everything. Email. You're making your decision based on the evidence. And can you give me an email. example of something that you know to be true that uh, that holds up to this standard of evidence? Well, yeah, we have bi biology yeah, and chemistry, of course. Yeah. No, no, we. I, I'm I'm thinking about something that percentage knows to be true. That he checked himself and then watched somebody else check. I didn't say that it, it, um, in that order no. that I did it myself and then someone else did it. If I did it myself, I don't need anyone else. Percent. Well, how do you know that you're? How do you know? But you said it has to be repeatable. So it only has to be repeatable by you now. No, it could be repeatable I, by anyone. The whole point is that it's uh, it's but, verifiable in the fact that it's re reproducible. But right? you said it has to be repeatable. How will you determine? If it is repeatable, if you only you can repeat it, I didn't claim that at all. I don't know where you got that from. Because if if it, you require direct empirical evidence, yes, how is somebody else repeating it going to provide you with direct empirical evidence? If I'm watching them do it directly. Right. You know, okay. They're, they're so that's what I'm asking you. That's what I'm asking you. What do you currently know to be true that meets this standard? Where you tested it. And then you went and watched Again, somebody you're else making test this it. ad hoc propter hoc fallacy, saying that because I first tested it, then I, I'm watching someone else test it. I never once said that. If I tested it, I don't need to watch someone else test it, right? Because that is how own, you determine it. I trust but your my, requirement my is, but your requirement is that it's repeatable. Yes, but so I, don't, I did it myself already. I don't know where you got this. That I already did it myself, and then I'm trusting. I'm watching someone else do it. So, it, so again, either it, I do it myself, or I'm trusting someone else in doing it. And then so maybe you think I'm, I'm watching someone else do it, and then I repeat it myself to make sure. So, so do you consider yourself to be infallible then? Everybody going or just him? Yes, my senses are infallible. Your senses are infallible. Yep. It's ludicrous. What about your reasoning? Is your reasoning infallible? Um, no, it's, it could be fallible. Who knows? So any conclusion that you draw has to be, has, would be a result of your reasoning. Yes, probably. Right. Well, so how could you, how my, could you make any? Is, uh, it depends on the levels though, because like some things are just very, very self-evident and some things, you know, require more, more ration, like reasoning than others. Right. So it depends. But on how can you, about. how can you know? That something, if, if you're making a claim of something, you, you go and test this claim yourself, you repeat the test of the claim yourself, and then conclude that it's true. But knowing that you are infallible, and it's possible that you're wrong, how, how do you get a truth claim out of this? It depends on what we're talking about. It depends on the thing. Well, we're talking about epistemology. We're talking about our general rules for knowledge. And these, apparently, are your general rules for knowledge. Talk about yeah, scientific so everything knowledge. Everything has to have been tested twice, at, at least by you. 
and possibly by somebody else. I never said else. that. I don't know why you're... I don't, what, you're what, you what, said what, it I has to be repeatable. Everything. You said it yeah, has it to be... be. Well, how do you confirm it's repeatable off, without off, repeating it? I didn't say it, it has to be. Listen, I said it should be verifiable and credible, right? And repeatable. Uh, it, so you're abandoning the repeatable now. You're not, yeah. you're not bothering that no, now. It, it's, it's definitely it's like... Maybe, uh, maybe we need it repeatable, it maybe we repeatable. don't. You, you're changing your mind on that. I said it should be. But it's my knowledge. It's my theory of knowledge that's fucked up. Not you yours, even at? though you don't yeah, know what, what you yours is. Yeah, because, what again, you, I, what? I have a... You don't even know what your theory of knowledge is. You're making it up as you go along. Changing no, it halfway through. Well, you've just you were rich. My, yeah, realist, you very so clearly you very clearly and, said it had to be I repeatable. Myself, I, mm. you, Listen, you very yeah. clearly said it had to be repeatable. You argued that point several times as I attacked it from different angles, and now you're saying, well, actually, I only meant it might have to be repeatable. Sometimes it doesn't actually have to be repeatable. It should be repeatable no, and Jim, there should be hold on there's percentage. no reason why it wouldn't percent, be hold on calm down calm it down were available to that calm person. it down percent because you're just going to want right. more look this is a question gem because i think what you've caught percent i'm not saying i'm not going to speak for you i'm just saying that even me now i'm thinking how do you know you've caught us by surprise when we're thinking that's a question that we should talk about how do we gain knowledge and this is why i brought this up in the first place this is this is what i've been talking about for the last three years came yeah out. but this I is what i'm asking now time. we, we <laughs> talk if we were talking genuinely <laughs> Surprise, you caught him by surprise. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, but I'm just saying that if you were talking genuinely about this question, not like, oh, how do you know things then, and then trying to catch him out on why you don't know anything, because we do. But, I'm not, but I'm this, not... is the, this is the whole question, Kima. This is the, the, this is the entire flat earth question is about epistemology. It's the whole thing. It doesn't matter about gas pressure in a container or any of that crap. None of that matters. All of it is about epistemology. The whole thing is what you accept to be true, what you accept to be good evidence for things. That's the point. I was just talking. I didn't think, I, I, you know, we were just talking and then... I'm sorry. Oh, I, was just, I am being talk. very gobby. Wait, I've, wait, had a, talk. I've had a very bad day. Oh, yeah. That's why I say, no, don't push it. Because like I say, I was just going to just talk <laughs> about how we can... And I get what you're saying now. Like, you were just like, well, how do you know things? And then, you know, but in that sense, I, we, we, we could ask the question how do we acquire knowledge if it wasn't like a gotcha if you really wanted to talk about it, that was that's how i thought we were going um but yeah that we'd have to think how do we know things for sure for sure and uh you know you're saying well, would he would he get someone to repeat his experiment would he do it how would he still know and yeah i see what you're getting at but it, it will always feel like a gotcha because you're what i find when i talk to flat earthers about this is they have to have some, they, they set themselves up with some weird set of rules like Percentage just did. And then when they're confronted with, with you know, providing examples of things that meet that standard, they realize they haven't got any. And then they're left in a position of, of either having to admit that they use a different standard from the one that they've just so told me or that they don't know anything according to their own standard. So, uh, it, it, uh, but... But you guys always, you know, th this is the trick of flat Earth. It, you know, it's the whole idea that you need to have seen it all yourself and this sort of thing. And, you know, if that's your epistemology, well, that's your epistemology. But you are you are destined to a a, a route, a, a journey, and a life of ignorance if you but follow no, that. Again, so how well, how I would have come about this because I, we have to know, like you say, we've been told it's a ball, so we have that information same so now i don't know if you're saying well then you shouldn't check it any further because we have it so i'm <laughs> saying that, so i'm saying hold on let me just get i'm trying to get my thought out here so it's like if we're trying to acquire now knowledge about the ball okay so we go out and try and check what they told us uh then, then we find out how so, so how would we know then if it's not what they told us that's so if we're trying to acquire new like oh. Whether it's new knowledge or simple. more knowledge or knowledge anyway in itself. That would be simple, Kimo. That would be simple, Kimo. You would you would find that your results don't correspond with the facts. Right. So that's my so that's point. So that, that's it. And that, right. and that would meet and that would meet my standard of knowledge because then you would have a justified true belief. You would have a justificate. You would believe it to be true. You would have a justification for believing it <clears throat> to be true. Be because you'd performed a test, and the results of your test would show that, that the original claim did not comport with reality. 
And so you would be. No, it doesn't work like that. You would be meeting my my uh, my. Birth. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, like it, it doesn't this work wrong. like no, no, because you guys want a model, okay, and you want a mathematical uh, evidence, mathematical explanations, and we're saying you've already told us the mathematics. You've said it's this big and this much this far. So now, if we we need to check that, you're saying the only way to check that is to come up with an equation that debunks this equation that we already have. That's the only way we can get out of this. We can't show you that water doesn't curve. We can't show you that gravity is not I a force a practically. Um, we can only provide you with a mathematical equation, which you all know we're not going to do that. Mathematics just discreality. So if I want to tell you that um, this this two by four is six feet long, the way you check it is with mathematics, right? Exactly. You get a ruler. You get a ruler and you check it. Exactly, mathematics. So that's yeah. how you yeah. know, you all know, unless we come up with a model which explains all these things that you say doesn't work on a well, flat math, earth. Math is the model. I mean, that's what, that's what a ruler is. So, it, knowing yeah. that, knowing that, so you're saying then, Jem and Brenda and all of the ballers, is that you can only know things in mathematics with numbers. Can't know things uh, practically. Yes, can. Yes. I can know how many apples I have in, in my shopping bag by counting them. That's math. What are you talking, talking about? about? Um, the shape of the earth. We can't, I'm just we giving can't a simple example. I'm just giving a simple earth. example. We can't know anything about the shape of the earth unless mathematics is used. We can't show practically that this is not straight or curved unless we use maths. Well, no, we don't have to use mathematics. You can prove the shape of the earth without using math or even any science. If we try to uh, Professor Dave has explain. Professor Dave has an entire video about proving the shape of the Earth without using science or math. If we try to explain Coriolis doesn't work. You'll just come up with an equation why it does work. You know the forces. Yeah, you know, too bad. The you know the gases. Yeah. It's not an. You can do. We can just describe how how Coriolis works. You don't understand it. Uh, again, it's the mathematics. Is that what you want? I want a practical. Well, give me a practical demonstration of a six foot long two uh, two by four. Of what? Give of me what? a practical. Oh, wow. Give me a practical demonstration that a particular two by four is six feet long. Give me a practical demonstration. Just measure it, right? No, no, no. You can't use numbers, and you can't use math, and you can't use models. Counting is not maths, it's just counting. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's simple math, but it's not, but it's not, what's it, the but it is still math. Well, what's the equation when you count? Uh, it, it's addition. One plus two plus three <laughs> right. plus four. Yeah, that's it. You're adding one all the time to your previous number. Yeah. And what's the, uh, what's the answer? Um, the length of the two by four, whatever it turns out. Add to be. all those Maybe numbers together. What's the answer? The answer is the two by four is six feet long. No, when you add all the numbers that you're counting, when you what's the answer? An equation. I, I don't understand your question. No, it's just counting. It's not maths. Yeah, you're just measuring. You're not. Uh, I think measurement... counting is maths. You are. <laughs> it is. You're measuring adding is maths. one all the time, aren't you? You're adding one to your previous total all the you time. Really, That's math. You would really suck. You would really suck as a simple. So, uh, what's, what's the answer then when you add all the numbers up? Carpenter. Well, it depends how many times you add one to your previous total. You tell me how many times I'm doing. What the answer? Yeah, how many numbers are you going to count? Well, where's the piece of whatever it is that I'm measuring? How many numbers are there? Well, as many as you want there to be. Okay. There's an infinite number of numbers. And what's Keep. the answer to that? When you add all them we don't together. know. I don't know. We're in a hypothetical at the moment. Okay. There is no but piece I want to of keep wood going. to measure. I want to keep going. If you the... give me the piece of wood to measure, I can then give you an answer. But I can't give you what an answer. What if we don't have a to number to measure it? currently agreed is an imaginary piece of so wood. So what if we don't have a number to measure it then? We... What are you talking about? 
So how is this piece of wood? Is infinite. How big is infinite? It isn't infinite. There is no piece of wood at the moment. If you want to provide a piece of wood, then we can measure it. However, at the moment, we're both talking and have been talking about an imaginary piece of wood. No, I'm talking about has, the... Which has, talking, currently has no known dimension. I'm talking about the Earth. I want the Earth measurement. It's infinite. So the what's Earth the number? measurement? Yeah, what's the number? What do you mean, what's the number? Which measurement of the Earth? If I start counting how big the Earth is, what number would well, I 24,901 miles. All right, how did you count that? I walked around the equator, and yeah. I, uh, I took one of those, you know, those, like, wheels yeah. that, that's like a meter round, mm -hmm. you know, that you have at school? I took one of those with me. Mm-hmm. And I walked all the way around the equator, and it was 24,901 miles. And then I did it again to check it, by the way. I went round the world twice with tread to spare. How long did that take? It took me, it's taken me all of my life so far. I've just got back. So that's just an imaginary number, then? No, that is the number. That is like an infinite number. How is, it, how is 24,901 miles an infinite number? Because in reality, we can't count that. Nobody can count that. Yeah, they can. That's how we know oh, it, I from people counting yeah. it. Well, who's done it? Fuck. Who's the French Spanish it? geodesic mission went and measured uh, this is just it, three degrees of latitude on the no, equator. No, they are myths. This is, this is just desperation. This, that's what this is. Oh, well, this if is you're going to speak in myths... Three degrees mythology. of longitude on the equator. This is mythology. What, what, have, what about today, present day? That isn't mythology. It's their recorded measurements. No, again, that's just mythology, stories, tales. No, it's not. Of course it is. No one's actually walked around the Earth, have they? Um, no, no, they uh, didn't walk all the way around the Earth. They just measured, uh, you know, a few hundred miles. There have been teams. There have been teams of geodetic surveyors who have who have uh, mapped out the Earth, right? And, and then they get together and they and they add up all their results and they get come up with the curvature of the Earth. So yes, again, these are myths, Brenda. We're talking present no, day. It's, it's not no, a myth. Okay. Because when we talk no, about no. knowledge, remember, knowledge, how do we know things? So we know now oh. that the Earth is not a ball. How do we know this? We know this because the so pictures... Get, well, yeah. Any evidence around why Facebook. you can call a myth, right? What? I didn't hear you what Any you team, just any know. group of people that do some measurements, you can just call it a myth and dismiss it. Yeah, because science, when we talk about knowing things... So you know uh, that you can't have a vacuum, all that stuff. So when people say they've done stuff around the ball, obviously that has to be a myth because there is no globe. We know this, right? And it's not unreasonable. It doesn't seem unreasonable to you in the slightest. But you just uh, look at some people making some claims and say, oh, these guys are just making shit up. It's all mythology. I mean, look, I mean, how... <clears throat> It's not like this idea is very old, this globe. I mean, it's quite recent. I mean, I think they're that not, lady... Not, yeah, two and a half millennia. That's definitely... No, no, that, again, that's another myth. We have yeah. real people... Again, you guys don't like real things. So we had that lady speaking to David Weiss, and they taught her flat earth in school. It was a normal thing. Now, this idea of a globe was introduced very, you know, early on. Why do you believe that lady? I mean, why? I think that, we were suffering from we know, If you look through your history, uh, we know that uh, people were taught this type of thing, yeah. Yeah, if you look through your not history, you find out that old people are forgetful and confused about things. And even more so, if they've spent an hour with a double glazing salesman trying to convince them the earth's flat before they are interviewed. No, I mean, again, I think that's another myth. I mean, yeah, you do get people <laughs> with dementia, but I mean, on a whole... Um, old people. David are not Weiss's great. job is literally a hard salesman, isn't he? He runs a sales team. I mean, they old sell, people they are... sell solar panels, which is a hard sell product. Just because the body so you could is just, not. And like... he was talking to her for about an hour or something, apparently, before that interview took place. 
So I, I think we, can, I think it's safe to say he worked a bit of a number. But all that happened with um, because remember, it's it's a Jesuit mm. order. Like this is all like Illuminati. But we know that it wasn't common knowledge, Chemo, because as I always say in this situation, Robotham was famous for being a flat earther. Carpenter was famous for being a flat earther. Why would they be famous for that if everybody else was that? No, no, no. Look, you're not, you, really yes, don't, yes, yes. you don't know. You don't understand the history of uh, how this thing works. No, you yeah. don't. And, um, you know, this globe was only, only a small group of, like the 1%, basically, wanted to push this idea. The rest of the world knew it was flat. And then this idea was pushed, tried to be pushed. And that's why they wanted public schools. You know, they said, let's get to public schools. Uh, we can really push this idea. And, um, you know, this is a very, it's not, a, it, is a, it could be an old idea, but an old idea that wasn't very strong until recently. So recently, they've been able to promote this ball better than ever. And a lot more people are buying it. And it seems now. Yeah, like, that's not the history. That's like, not the history. They're being here in the West, it's like polarized. So it seems like that speaks for the entire world. When you look at the flat map, you know, <clears> I mean, the Queen here, the British Empire worked very hard in um, colonizing all the countries strategically to keep the secret of the shape of the earth you know and that's happened now and now we've got a whole reset going on the old world people can't reveal you know their information because they're all gone wiped out whatever and uh, now we're here today with this idea of a ball and we're questioning it like why where did it come from and yeah you guys can't prove it practically just uh, mathematically numbers yeah, it can. Easy. Because it's not a ball. You can't prove Loads of it. Loads of photos of it. Those photos, you know, what is it? You know, this, you can't go into a vacuum and take pictures um, of, a, of an area with um, pressure yeah, we, we, next to it. Can and we have. We can and we have. Yes, yes. I mean, again, it's just we not. Can. You know, when you don't think about these things, you could argue, you know, are the pictures real or not? That used to be the thing, the key. Are the pictures real? But once you understand where they were taken, it's just not possible to take a picture in that area. Then, then how did we do that? How did we do it? It's impossible. Yes, why is it not possible? Oh, it's, the, you know, the vacuum next to the gas pressure? That's not possible. We don't have that. You do. I've got a video. I've found it today, where an astronaut, have... one of the astronauts, is on the outside the ISS, and they say the woman says the vacuum of space. So yeah. keep running, hiding. Well, NASA tell us it's a vacuum. You're boring, right? NASA now. say they are in a vacuum. Curve your reload. Yeah, so what makes it impossible? I mean, you can have a vacuum chamber, or you can put a webcam inside that vacuum chamber and film the whole thing as you suck out all the air. Yeah, but can Why you would that... that make it impossible? Because you can't have that vacuum without the container. Uh, there we go. An assumption. What? what? And, not, and not an explanation why that's impossible. Your earlier claim had nothing to do with any containers. You said that's impossible. No, I'm saying the vacuum violates, you know, science and all that stuff. Just, just say it just like, just say it just like Nathan would. What? That is well, when you're, a, when you're parodying, when you're parodying Nathan, you, you know, you should do the voice too. Well, I mean, I think you all know uh, what's going on with this. I mean, the science speaks, uh, tells us, shows us, guides us, and it tells us if, uh, that's how we can know things. So, if we just trust that those pictures are taken, we need to, you know, if you ask a question, if you're critical, you'll be like, well, is that possible? Hold on, they're in a vacuum. Hold on, can you go in a vacuum? Hold on, you know, check out those things. That's how you know things. If, if it's not possible for there to be a vacuum, hmm. then how is it that we went in, up into the vacuum and took a picture? It didn't happen. No, it, it did happen. It really did. Um, I know millions and millions of people believe that they did, but again, if they if they thought about it, they would think, well, hold on. They're in a vacuum next to gas pressure. How is that possible? 
Most people don't think about that. I mean, well, well it doesn't matter who's, whether who's eating on it doesn't matter. Somebody's eating. It doesn't matter that you think it's impossible. It doesn't chemo. It doesn't matter that you think it's impossible. We went there and did it. No, because like right? when we go out uh, doing activism and you say to the public, you know, like what's above is a vacuum. They say, yeah. And you say, well, you know, there's gas below that. They say, yeah. And they still haven't even, they're still not clicking. They just say, yeah. And then you say, well, how do they sit next to each other? And then they think about it. Then they say gravity. And then you just walk them through which gravity, all that stuff, you know. Don't need to go into yeah, it now, but you know, which gravity is not a force, all that stuff. And then uh, you go back to the question, okay. So, how, and then they say, hmm. Point, yeah. Let me go and uh, find out more. Uh, I, I don't know what that has to do with anything, Kimo. And try to convince someone that, that reality is not real. Sorry, say that again, left lane. I said, so you compile a bunch of non-truths about reality to convince them that reality isn't real. Reality? Well, again, this is what we're talking about. How do we know things in reality is by testing them, right? Agree, disagree, test them. So if they say they're in a vacuum, they're in a container, you can test it. Difficult. If they say there's gas pressure next to a vacuum, you can test it. Again, it's not possible. So you know uh, we don't, here. chemo, we, we don't say that there's gas pressure right next to a vacuum. Yeah, we don't claim. say it. We can see it. Who needs to say a word? No. Just look. Just look at the no, picture. No, you can't. No, you can't. You don't need to show, show me gas pressure. He's got Show me gas the... pressure right next to a vacuum. You've got to look, Brenda. When you look at the uh, the Earth from space, yeah, you can like see all that blue next to the black. You're like, well, no, yeah. no. So you're the one who's claiming that we can see gas pressure next to a vacuum. Show it to me. Stop being silly, Brenda. You've been to the moon, ain't you? You've seen the Earth, right? No. No, show it to me. Think about I this. Need... Imagine, imagine the moon had water around it. What do you think would happen? Come on. What's the imagination got to do with this, Kimo? Think about they it, guys. They asked you to show how it works. Let's think about it. Let's say we had a... Let's say we took our ocean, the Pacific, or an ocean, or any ocean, took a body to the moon, put it on the moon, in the vacuum of space this is what we do when we're out you know this is what we do this is why this is why they've locked us down because of these powerful arguments where people were like ah, yeah that's a claim powerful what? argument you, haven't, you can't even form a coherent argument here chemo well what think about it you tell me brenda if i take a body of water to the moon put it on the moon what's going to happen talk to me Take your time, take your time, think about it, take your time. Because that's what I mean, that's what the public are like. And that's why they've stopped us from congregating in such huge numbers. Because when we get a crowd uh, that listens to this information, um, it's bad yeah. news for the uh, globe team. Let me right? chemo, chemo. What? If what? I take a body of water, yeah. like the Indian Ocean, yeah. and I take it to Mars, and I put it on Mars, mm -hmm. then Mars will have an ocean. Okay. If you pour a pool, uh, there pool you of water on the moon, you'll have a pool of water yeah, on the moon. Atmosphere around, there's, all, there's atmosphere around Mars already, no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we're talking about the moon, Brenda. If you take the water to the moon, yeah? It's not about the atmosphere, it's about gravity. Uh, a little bit of both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We know that the moon is not sufficiently massive to hold water what on would the happen surface. what would happen to the water would boil the water, the water, hmm? the water would sublimate the water would sublimate and form an atmosphere around the moon which would gradually dissipate because the moon doesn't have enough gravity to hold on to that onto the um the uh, where, now would, where would the gas go the water would turn into a gas. Where would it go? And then it would it would stay close to the moon for a period of time uh, until it was eventually lost because the moon doesn't have enough uh, mass. That's what would it would be stripped off and blown off into the direction of the solar wind, more than likely. 
it would fill the space. That's all it would do, right? Gases would no, fill the it, space. No, it actually wouldn't. It wouldn't right away. It would. It, you would have if you had a the 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 entire water of the Indian Ocean. You would have an ocean on the moon for for a period of time until it all got turned into gas, and then you would have an atmosphere around the moon for a period of time until it was stripped away. Mathematically That's what speaking, yes? Mathematically speaking. That would work, yeah? That's what the maths would say. Practically, No, no, that that's, what the, that's not what the math says. That's what the physics says, right? This is not math. This is physics. We but know in reality, that in the present... No, in reality, if you took water into a low-pressure region, right, what would happen? It would bu bubble... You would say boil. Well, it, would stay, it, it would stay liquid for a time. No, it wouldn't. It evaporate. Hold on, hold on. It would stay liquid as it's for a time, and it would evaporate. But if I pour, put a gallon of water into my vacuum chamber, that gallon of water will be there for hours, or at least uh, a substantial amount of time. Yeah, it would. If I, I spilled it on the moon, if I, it, it would stay there for several minutes. I think you would see it boiling. I, I, I would think so in, in the vacuum of space. Would it, would it um, turn to ice? Um, probably, as it's as enough of the energy left through the boiling process. process. And then the, and then then the, yeah, yeah oh, then it would sublimate. Yeah, yeah. But, you and know, then, it, then you'd have, then, then chemo, you would have a, a thin atmosphere around the moon uh, of these, of, I think it would be oxygen and hydrogen eventually. Right, and that would be there for quite a while, and, and then, but eventually, it would get stripped away by the solar wind. Yeah, I'm not sure about the oxygen hygiene part of that. I mean, right. the, the solar energy solar can break can break, 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 can break so it, it up. Would, but, um, it would be water vapor. So it would just be yeah. water vapor. Water, water vapor. vapor, except for anything that imparted enough energy to break the hydrogen and oxygen bonds. So it might all eventually become hydrogen and oxygen. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is great. It's all, um, it's all um, mathematical. Uh, I accept that. I understand that. But that's not knowledge, guys. You will <laughs> always, you will forever be in a fantasy <laughs> world if you think what you're saying is reality. Yeah. See, because because no, because the reason is you can't test it. You're just no. Telling we can me. test it. We can test it. And besides chemo, we oh. didn't relate any. Neither me nor Maycock uh, gave you any math. We gave you physics. <laughs> yeah, theoretically, that was physics. You're, you're giving me that's what you. Known, that's the known. It's the known behavior of physical system. How how gases and solids react in the presence of a vacuum for instance sublimation is something that's known that's not math that's just physics yeah well like i say it's all based on the presupposition that you can go to the moon in the first place I mean, no, no it's, it's not I mean, it was it's based on your hypothetical this is your hypothetical you gave us uh, there's no way that you could take the the ocean the indian ocean and move it to the moon you can't do that no but so you can take water to the moon right can take water to the moon. Been there, right? You can't take the Indian Ocean to the moon. There isn't a, a ship big enough. You can take some of it, though, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You could take a cup. Take you could take a jug. You could take a jug of water it's to the moon. It's getting bigger, yes. Brenda. It's getting bigger. Go in. But. But the idea is, is that there is no real uh, practical evidence for heliocentric model. Um, that's oh, why so we're just it. we're just abandoning everything around. We're switching back to uh, denial of, of the heliocentric. I mean, it was fun model. with the hypothetical, but you've got to face reality, right? Um, Somebody's got to face reality. Well, you don't have to. Well, we were talking about... You have avoided reality for five years. We were talking years. about knowledge. And what we found out is that you guys don't have any knowledge, knowledge, like you don't know, just have like 
from us. That's right. Wait, wait. Well, you're correct. You're correct, Kimo. We don't have knowledge, knowledge. We just got knowledge. Yeah, you have we knowledge have, on other things. Yeah, we don't so, have knowledge, knowledge. Yeah. yeah fuck all. I followed you like a sheep, mate. So let him go. Bye. Yeah, so you have uh, like certain bits of information, certain bits of knowledge. Is it knowledge? You, you know, you know some things, but is it is it really something? You know, so. This is what we're questioning, Brenda, um, your knowledge. And it seems that when we ask you, we find that you don't actually know anything. That's the problem here. But we actually do. Uh, uh, but it's true we don't have knowledge, knowledge, but we do have knowledge. That's what I mean. You don't know anything, though, do you? No, no, we do. We have, we've got knowledge. We just don't have your knowledge, knowledge. And I think that's we probably what's that. the, like, the biggest fear is that you're, you're scared, not just you specifically, but, you know, the globals are scared that you'd actually realize that you don't know anything. Like, you don't... We're terrified. We're running scared. Uh, uh, flat Earth is dying. Uh, flat Earth videos get no views anymore. Nothing, practically. And just a few, just a few people here anymore. Flat Earth is dead on, on YouTube. What does it mean? It yeah, means nobody globe. gives a shit. Nobody gives a shit, Chemo. That's what it means. Yeah, but we t talk Google to the people who it. do, like you. You care. And you believe that you're on a spinning ball flying through space. And what I'm saying to the person that does mm, care... Yes, we're gluttons for punishment. Is you have no knowledge on this question. You have no information. What you think is knowledge oh, is not information. actually reality. See? And that's the problem here with most of the people in... And that's why I would say most people are probably not bothered. They know it anyway. They just... The flat earthers that are out there, they just you know, just get along with their lives. It's not that big of a deal. Basically, Haven't you yeah. just... I mean, you say we have no knowledge. Um, yeah. We have lots of evidence, and we go from that evidence... To conclude what we conclude. Not knowledge. You don't and, know anything uh, about the heat essential. No, no, that's that's evidence is is the basis of knowledge. Again, when we question what you know, we find out well you actually don't know anything. That's the point. Here. No, no, you deny what we know. You don't question, Kimo. I mean, you deny. might know uh, mathematics, but that doesn't mean you know about reality. You don't have knowledge in the real world. No, you strong indication. Strong as hell indication. Still no knowledge. Still don't know anything, do you? That's why I said. Now, we, initially... we, by the definition of no, like mm -hmm. the that I know that my finger is on my hand and wiggling in front of me. Yeah, I can pretty much say that. All that. No, I'm not be talking about that. I'm talking about that. the heat. You don't know but, um, anything about where you live. That's my point. No, no, lots of stuff. Like what? Yeah, everything that uh, we've talked about in the heliocentric uh, world. We, uh, the movement of stars comports with the ball. You don't ball. know anything about I the stars. I know that. No, you don't know, any you I don't know, know anything about the I know that the geometric uh, or the, uh, the uh, uh, mapping system, the only map that yields accurate results is the globe. So right there, I know that the, three, the 3D coordinate system used... Uh, not 3D, the, uh, the coordinate system used for uh, mapping out the Earth indicates a globe. I know that. That's as much as you can know something. But again, this is not knowledge, because when you test it, you find out that you don't know anything about this. Yeah, but, uh, no, you just deny. Not denying, it's about what you know. I know, well, um, you just deny. based you on what deny. you That's said, not that it's not possible through uh, experiments and science. That's how, you can know, that's how I know this about you and your knowledge base on this. Well, does, the coordinates, does the coordinate system work? Yes, I can. I've asked people in Australia whether their country is as big as it appears on the globe, and I've gotten affirmative answers. I've also looked at the coordinate system, the latitude longitudes, and I found out that those match. So therefore... I can say that the coordinate system matches in Australia and America. And I believe pretty much uh, England and everywhere else it's tested. Yeah, feelings are not knowing, right? Feel that they're telling you the truth, so you go along with no. what you think you no, know. No, that's, that's, that's personally verified through uh, indirect uh, observations of other people. I've spoken with people in Australia. They say that their information is accurate. They know how big their country is. Unless you want to argue that every Australian just lies about how big their country is. I mean, that's possible, I guess. You never know that, right? Well, that's, that's a stupid knowledge or thing to worry about. Then by that definition, you don't know if China exists. 
No, I believe it exists. Okay. Well, do you believe Australia is the size they say it is? No. Really? Wow. Why? Wow. So when they hop in a car and they go to decide how much gas they're going to use to drive from uh, Victoria to, I don't know where the fuck else in, I don't know any Australia, to Adelaide, um, they just have no idea whether they're going to make it. When they get in the plane, they have no idea when they fly between these places on, on the, uh, in a private, personally owned uh, aircraft. They have no idea whether they're going to make it from Adelaide to Victoria. No, no, Ranty's going there next year to drive around. No, but no, 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 that, that, that has nothing to do with Ranty. I'm asking you the question, do the people who hop on those planes have no idea how far away things are? They just put on an extra 500 gallons and hope they make it. I don't know. I don't know what you want. <laughs> Does anybody else understand what I'm saying? That's going to see the question. Do we know what the Australians are doing? Of course he knows. Of course he understands it. Asking about what the Australians are doing. How do we know what they do and what they don't do? Yeah, you're just a liar. You're just a yeah, liar. Them. You're just lying here. Yeah, you want me to trust. Sorry. You're a liar. No, no, Chemo. You're a liar. Well, demonstrations say otherwise. It doesn't matter you what have a I demonstration say, that says that um, Australia isn't as big as uh, they claim? Talk about the heliocentric model. That is part of the heliocentric model. When you look at the uh, coordinate system used to map out the heliocentric model, the only one that actually yields good results that I've seen so far, and I'm up to you showing me one that works otherwise, is a sphere. There is no we. You're on your own, Moyak. Hold no, your no, own no. Hand. Actually, there is a we. I, see, I'm not bound by my own Unless uh, you've got a team, obviously. observations. You have a small team. I have a humongous team. It's 7 no. billion people. No, you don't know that team. Almost 8 billion. You don't know any of them. No need to. You need to. In this question, you need to. No, you really don't. Yes, you really do, Moyak. On this question. No, this question is a foolish child. If you want game. to ask uh, Australia what was the score of a result or something, you can trust them. It's not a big deal. But when it comes to the entire world... Them, would it be a, a, mon a mundane claim? Like how long it takes them to get between two places at 60 miles per hour? Is that a, uh, is that a thing, claim that I can't believe? Yeah, that's, a, that's ridiculous. That's a ridiculous claim. Oh, wow. The, the, the massive conspiracy for all odometers in Australia to lie. You don't know the how line deep uh, is a, the line sack of shit you, you are. You don't know how King. deep uh, you are in this, Moik. How deep the lie runs. Like this is not just a, this really is a, a huge conspiracy. They've worked very hard to conceal it. See, and um, either you know, I won't want to say you're part of it, but like if you're not finding out yourself, you and your team, then um, I can't see what you're arguing with. What team? Fuck up, team. Oh, Chris, what's happened? You just said you and your team, you have no team, there is no team. Not my team, Moyak can get his own little globe team to prove the globe himself. <sighs> Not rely on the people on that he doesn't know. That's You're a team globe. We're a team flat. <laughs> yeah. So we go out and... Uh, so all the Australians in Flat Earth, um, have you been able to get a reasonable uh, size measurement for um, Australia, at least you know, between cities? Lemon's here now. I've been summoned. Yes. Where there is pseudoscience and globe belief, <laughs> yes. I will at least counter it. Yes. What, what uh, you don't know what lemon? pseudoscience is, chemo. Uh, I mean... Uh, lemon. Lemon. You Did don't you know just lemon. admit you're on a crusade on it? It's pseudoscientific to say that the Earth is a globe when it measures something more like flat. Lemon, no. Wow. Pseudoscience is when we have liars like you, uh, Lemon, who who, are, who have nothing but the the um the people of the lie. That's what you are, Lemon. Well, the pseudoscience comes out when we just cheerlead for science without using, say, rigorous scientific methods to really get at the heart of the issue. Here's what really bothers you. You are 
your your father, Lemon Bird, is the father of the lie. The father of lies. That's you. You're talking about Satan? I don't worship Satan. Yes, you do, because you do nothing but lie. So you are his min you are his his servant. You are the servant of the lie, because that's all you do is lie. I am a humble servant of the Most High God. Jesus Christ bought and paid for me with his uh, precious blood on the cross. I am a humble sinner, but I acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yeah, that's that's something that's something that the Father of Lies would say, isn't it? He pretends the Father of Lies pretends to be the light, but he is not the light because he does nothing but lie. And that's what you do, Lemon. Satan is a liar. Luckily, lies cannot exist without the truth. So normally, if you go back to the first truthful utterance, you can dispense with um, almost all of the lie right there, once you get down to the root. Well, I don't know. I'm just taking a different tack with you, because I, I think that you've been deceived by, by the deceiver. We'd have to learn the sport is he's deceiving himself. Repent, Brenda. Man. Just repent. Whatever pain you're in, whatever upset you've had, yeah. the Lord I will look after you. Trust in the Lord, uh, Brenda. Trust in the Lord. I am fine. I'm fine. I'm I am I am happy. And, I hope so, and, Brenda. Because time is short. Time is short, Brenda. We're running out of time. This is coming back very, very soon, Brenda. So I hope whatever you're saying is the truth. Now remember, God said that He would turn everyone over to a reprobate mind if they don't. I've got to go. Hold on. Uh oh, Brenda, if we repent of our sin and turn toward Jesus, all of us will be in heaven with Jesus Christ forever. Forever. But I'm the true follower of truth. I follow truth. I, I don't follow. I don't follow the father of lies like you do. All we have to do is accept what Jesus did, and forever we'll be with the Lord. I accept the truth. I I follow the truth. I believe in the truth. I follow it. You are de you are deceived by the deceiver who goes out like a lion seeking those whom he has he would devour, and he has devoured you. Okay, where are we? Where were we? Brenda, are you repenting, are you? We were talking about uh, how you came clean earlier and told us how depressed you were. How what? Confessed? What are you talking about? How depressed about? you were. Today you, you told us you were depressed. Impressed? Uh, I, I didn't De say depressed. I was... Depressed. Depressed. You had depression, Kimo. Oh. I... <laughs> what? I'm, I'm, I'm only joking I'm, earlier on, Chris. Come on. No, you weren't. Just an example. You weren't you joking. If, if, if. if. No, no, you said that you're very depressed because this is the biggest lie ever. How could you possibly oh, right. be yes, happy yes, if everyone yes, lying yes, to yes. you? Oh, yes, me, Where yes, absolutely, go? yes. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, yeah. I mean, the whole idea of um, obviously understanding that uh, not a... so I really wanted to go to space, right? I wanted to be an astronaut, go to uh, <laughs> Mars, go to the moon, all of that, a space, I mean, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, right, mate, they you do not you got... employ lanky cunts like you as astronauts. You got, you <laughs> would have had absolutely no chance. No, I would have definitely got in there in some way. One, uh, you one mate, way you're one about one eight foot tall. There's no way they'd give you a job. As... Yeah, no, they would have given me a, they, I would have got in there one way or one another, like I say. Uh, well, you'd have to chop your legs off, maybe. Well, I mean, like I say, they would work away around it. But, well, I mean, that, was desire, really? that was desire to how go to How tall is he really, Jim? Now, hey, he is tall. tall. Is he? he is very tall. How tall are you, Kimo? Very tall. You heard. <laughs> like six and a half foot, like seven foot. So, you know, like I say, uh, so it's depressing. <laughs> what? It's very, very, that, very depressing Jesus. to understand that. That dream uh, of flying in a rocket uh, is no more. Right, we're stuck here on the flat earth under the dome. Well, I don't know if it's you a dome. You can still make it, Kimo. You can still make it to the astronaut core. Mm, you could be in go space where? Sport. Just fly up and then down? That's not fun. Do that in an airplane. <laughs> I think you'll have to become a natural, naturalized American. No, no, we've got the ESA but, here. got the ESA. Don't worry about that. Uh, obviously, we can go to Japan also. Uh, you know, so <laughs> there are options all over the board, but not anymore. Not anymore. This is the idea. And, uh, and uh, uh, Ross, Cos Ross Cosmos. You could just Ross get a lot of money. Ross Cosmos, Chris, you've got it there. So, look, the idea is um, space, unless you want to be an actor, 
and swim under water in a swimming pool or and then deceive the people and get paid very well live a good life all that kind of stuff that sounds great well well wouldn't you want to be that that sounds awesome no because it says uh, there's this verse in the bible that says what i mean i have to remember it but it's basically sort of about if you profit what is it if you profit the world if you give up your soul or something like this so so if you if you uh, something like i can't remember what is it and to gain the world That's and lose his soul. <laughs> go on, let me say it again. Go on, go on. What was it? What's profit a man, man to gain the world and lose his soul? Something to that effect. Yeah, how the how can you, Lemon? A serious question. How can you lose your soul by discovering God's work? What do you mean? Um. If the Earth is in fact a globe, you're discovering God's work. Yeah, but it's not a globe. Not. Well, well, what if that's just you're just <laughs> claiming that? So we have knowledge, not just trust. No, that just no, trust. Not. That would just so, trust other flat so, earthers, like oh, willy nilly. We go out there and we make sure that what we've been told. Is or no, isn't no. what they say it is. No, pay attention. What the, the pay attention. So, so the thing that they said was, uh, "What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his immortal soul?" But um, Christians are tasked, or, or or have at least as one of their tasks, discovering and, and um, uh, uh, appreciating God's work in this world. And this world is God's work. If you discover that it is in fact a globe then you are discovering god's work so how could that endanger endanger your soul you are celebrating worshiping uh the, and beholding the wonder of god's work that's how but it becomes uh, an idol if it gets in the way of god and so that would be gaining the world but losing your soul if you don't get to see god because look, we're supposed look. to be with god for a relationship not in a relationship with the world most most astronomers in the past and probably the, in the present are believers and they felt that they were discovering the works of god and and they and it's wonderful it uh, i look at um, astronomical pictures and they're beautiful they're wonderful and if you wish to believe that this is the work of god i have no problem with no with brenda that. their god is hasatan Okay, and um, that's oh, you're talking of... about Satan. Satan. Hmm? You're talking about a, a Satan, has has that nas or has whatever it was in ancient mm. Hebrew. Yeah, yeah. Has that nas uh, has like the and Satanas was uh, the adversary, and I guess Satan just stuck. But the thing is, you know, um, the fallen angels, you know, um, and uh, things like that appear to be what we worship when we turn our, our eye away from God and toward other things. And so we can get distracted if we focus too much on the creation. In holding the works of God, how can that not be worship? It becomes worship, though, if we worship the created um, instead of the creator. You, are, you, don't, you don't have to worship the created. You, you behold the magnific magnificence, the wonder and the glory of God's work. Yeah, but Brenda, this is our king, right? You may have your king or queen on this earth, your President Trump, maybe your king, right? And or Putin or uh, Boris or whoever, right? That uh, or the Queen of England. That may be your queen, but Jesus is our king, right? And that's what we're waiting for. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't right. you why wouldn't you want to behold his works? And his work is that the earth is a globe orbited by the moon and it is wonderful and glorious to behold I told you praise though, Brenda. he said it's like a footstool he's already told us a footstool I'm gonna praise, like a foot I'm gonna stool. praise god if, if god if god exists praise god uh the astro astronomical pictures are wonderful glorious photographs of of um, nebula and dust clouds photographs of the landscapes of mars are beautiful. Brenda, what side are you on? Are you on the Luciferian or the Satanic side? Which I'm on one? the side of truth, and I think you have been you have been taken in by the by the great. No, but if you had a choice, truth. which side are you? Uh, is it, which do you preference? Satan? I'm on the side. Of, I'm, I'm on the side of truth. Yeah, I'm like on the light, side of truth. Luciferian light. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you mean? Oh, no, 
you you think Lucifer is truth? No, I'm saying. Of course you do. You've been deceived by this. You get the behind me, Satan. It's a question. Get the behind me, Satan. Don't fill me with your satanic lies. No, Satan is not Lucifer. I'm asking, are you on the satanic side of the the light of Lucifer? Because you know, Satan is like you know, red and dark and like gothicy. Satan is the power side. That's the spells, the invoking. That's the power side. Lucifer is more the knowledge, (laughs) the notice that brings you ultimate toward. Take it all off, Um, uh, uh, Satan himself. Satan and Lucifer. Just two two different names. Yeah, yeah. So you know, like. so Lucifer, Hold on a minute. Well, man, you're the expert on the satanic Luciferian thing here. Explain. What's the difference between Satan and Lucifer again, Lemonberg? Well, yeah. Lucifer is more as like the, the wisdom side. Um, you can read about it in um, cannibalism, blood drinking, and high adept Luciferian is uh, high adept uh, Satanism. But Satan is more the power side, uh, the, uh, the more working the spells, the magic, uh, working your will. You, you know, would that's... know. You would know. Yeah, I mean, a... it's, it's black you and white. Know, magic. A... Why is not the same dude again? I don't get it. Well, Luciferianism would be on the softer, I guess you could say, side with the New Age, you know, apostasy, the no, uh, the gnosis, the Gnosticism, that sort of thing, leading ultimately towards Satan. You know, <laughs> where you know the power of you know um, the the adversary, as mm, it were. Mm, mm. So, yeah, I mean, that's quite right, yeah. So if you want to try to understand who's on what side, so Lucifer likes, like, the royal, like, the elegant side. So, like, you know, you've got, like, the castle or, like, the rich, the ro- like, the royal... Think of the royal family, how they dress. Uh, that's the Luciferian side. And obviously the satanic side is, as I said, is, like, the gothic like, the grunge, the darks, the chains. This uh, isn't about the dress code, Kimo. Yeah, it's the two sides. It's the dark and the light. And what they're trying to do, they're trying to place the Antichrist. Um, so basically, it's just like a bid, like politicians, like you guys vote. Okay, so in the underworld, they're trying to seat the Antichrist. So both sides, Satanic uh, and the Luciferian, are at war. We're in, the, we're, in, we're in the middle of their war, you see. That's what's going on right now. And uh, they're trying wait, to... Wait. Pu- do they vote in, in, in hell? Is that what you're saying? They don't vote. They bid. They bid for the Antichrist. So, you know, they plead, like, you know, like with blood sacrifices or control of the people. Right, so you've got the East and the West. Um, you seem to know an awful, you seem to know an awful lot about this. Yeah, I, like, so you- I'm, uh, Kimo, I'm just a follower of the truth. I don't know these, these demon ways. I, I'm sure you do being a, being on the other side. I'm just a follower of the truth. Well, Brenda, with all due respect, it seems like you're mocking and you're a follower of man because all you do is repeat what man has taught you. It doesn't seem like you have any independent thought of, of uh, differing from that knowledge. Well, so I think I, you're just I, mocking. I, so, so Rakia, I, what I'm doing is as I'm adopting... No, I know what you're doing. You're mocking. No, it's not mocking. No, it, it's mocking. Straight no, I, I am adopting religious language because I think no, maybe that you're could reach. mocking the religious language. Maybe that could reach because uh, you don't want to hear the religious language. No, I, 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 I'm just trying a different... Prove a different me wrong, way. Brenda. Say a prayer for us. Our if Father who art in God, heaven. Yeah. Our Father who art in heaven. No, I didn't say be repeat name. a prayer. I said say a prayer. Pray for me, Brenda. Let's not uh, get into fucking I, prayers. I pray. I'm just curious I pray. about something, You but said uh, you follow man. Uh, I pray. Well, I was asked to pray. I, I pray, Rakia, honestly, that one day you will see the truth and the light and that it will fill you with joy, knowing what the truth is. Who are you praying to? Uh, I'm pr- praying the to light. the truth, the truth and the, the light. The truth? The truth is not who you pray to. The, sure it is. What are you talking about? No, it's not. Why, why can't I pray? To, you believe in the truth, don't you? I believe in God, creator. Jesus is he Christ, not the Lord truth? Savior. Jesus not the truth? Yeah, but I don't think that's what you're doing. I think you're my... I'm I think, the truth. Uh, Rakia, you are the one who's following man. Oh, you think? Specifically, you're following the men who wrote the Bible. Men who write the Bible, sir. The thoughts the divine of land, the they wrote it down. Jesus you're, Christ. You're following men. Men wrote textbooks. That's what you're following. 
Well, well the difference a lot of books, that, a selection of writings that men wrote down. The difference the is that words of God the Creator. The difference, Rokia, is that we can. The difference is you things. don't know that difference. You don't. And science that, is and repeatable. And it's shameful. As for you, you don't do anything repeatable. I haven't seen any fucking magical resurrections. Mm -hmm. Damn you, hot mic and. I am. Yeah, tough. So you tough? You're the one who's following books oh, yeah, and words of man. No, you're the one who's Blood following books, books, textbooks, science books, physics books. And uh, now you're just uh, going, no, no, uh, 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 okay. Everything I hear is from a book from you. Okay, bye bye, five year old. Okay, see you later. Oh, I don't know if it was you, Jem, actually. Taking that tapping on. Anything else? Yeah, one has a body of evidence, one doesn't. Yeah, we can debate whether the book was well, written Why did down. Rocky I mean, interrupt written, uh, a that perfectly a lovely prayer? I was, you know. But there is no debate that a physics book or a science book is written by man, right? There is no debate so, of that. So, Rakia, Rakia, when I say I fo I'm a follower of the truth, I honestly mean that. I have no. a commitment. I have a I commitment to, to believe. I, I, I do. Uh, I, I, I don't if doubt that. I am, yeah, if somebody can show me that I'm wrong, I will change my mind about things. Who and are you I have glorifying with that truth, yourself or man or God? I'm glorifying the truth. And if it turns out no, that's, that Jesus is the <laughs> that's truth, not what I asked. If it if it turns out, if it turns out that Jesus is the truth, then I I, I have nothing to worry about. Okay. And then you have nothing to worry about. Yes, you do. You have to profess yeah. him as your truth or it doesn't it doesn't count. He has to know your heart. So your heart might be pure, you just might Can be saying I'm pure things. The That's fucking fine. preaching, please. Yeah, Brenda brought it up, by the way. Uh, well, Brenda, if, do you believe Jesus died and rose from the dead? Uh, no, I don't think there he did. Well, that doesn't mean I, I worship the truth. I don't worship uh, 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 lies. You worship a man that, you construct. Know, he rose from the dead. You know, so retarded. Can't believe you fucking fell for it. No, she tried to mock the, you know, mock the religious side of it because that's what she wants Good. to do. You so that's why she brought it up. You're fucking idiots! You believe in fairy tales? Yeah, whatever. Well, that's why she brought it up. Yeah, you yeah, believe sure. in dark Force holes of, in the sky? Falsification is independent replacement, sir. We can well, I, I genuinely, want. I genuinely wasn't trying hey, to mock. I'm you, well, you, you generally I'm brought up the subject. You know of I'm listening to these fucking dipshits talk like God is real. Cool. They, I don't know about religious texts. I don't. I don't know if Jesus was real. I don't, I don't know if Muhammad's real. I don't, but to say that he ain't real, and you know, there's no truth to it. You, you know, that's a bit. That uh, you know, there's all these unlikely. That's not the only thing you don't know shit about that. Uh, extremely unlikely. But why, why are they, all these people talking about it thousands and thousands of years later? Like. We, we talk about Elvis and... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does it mean you can talk people. when I talk all the time? It's just... Let me get no, my I point out, please. No, done. I was not done, mate. I wasn't done. Um, you know, when um, when all these people like talk about, like, let's say, Elvis. Like, they talk about Elvis was amazing. He was the king. He was amazing. So the, the, the legend lives on. They may exaggerate that like, Elvis could walk and war if it was further back in time. So maybe the stories aren't accurate 100%. Like, the Chinese whispers has been added to it. But when you talk of people in such high praise, you may exaggerate the truth. So maybe it's a really exaggerated claims of Chinese whispers, but there is some truth back to the stories of, you know, these people, maybe. Maybe, but I mean, have you, have you seen the bullshit episode two with Elvis being compared to the Bible? Well, that one. I mean, uh, if you just go okay. further back, I'm sure that, um, if you go further back, I'm sure that the stories get more and more exaggerated. I mean, like Michael Jackson was like the king of pop, the most amazing thing the world has ever seen, you know? Um you know, and, and you know that they, this is what happens. That's what people were like back in the day. You got to remember like, the mentality with people then. You know, like they, they used to glorify people. Like they had one person who stood out, and he, he used to stand out more than anybody because everyone was very like, you know, just conformist, weren't they? There was no like people that stood out at all back in the day. So if you had someone that stood out back in two thousand years ago, you know, he would be eternalized. And that's what we. That's why Jesus is one of the most famous people in the world, next to Muhammad and whatever. I mean, I don't, I don't know if the, I don't know if the miracles are true. I don't know. If, I, I think there's probably something to it, but I don't, I'm not religious, man. But just I wouldn't say that it's Sound complete and utter mm -hmm. Well, you know, I can. You sound gay. Well, does that mean you're gay? Tommy, <laughs> <laughs> you are the one who's always telling people that you're going to screw them in the ass and stuff. So I mean, come on. Yeah, I do like I do That's like sexually right. abusing men like Chris because Chris deserves it. Chris likes to be Chris, 
you think? Do you think Jesus would approve or not? I don't know, mate. I don't know what Jesus is like. I don't got a clue. I've never read this. I've never read, read a single page of a religious book in my entire not, life. I, I don't intend to. So I, I don't. I don't know it's Jesus. Not, uh, I don't know anything about him. Or... From me. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm not surprised that by that in the slightest. I've only read three books in my world and, and, and in my life, and, and, and I tell you what, a religious book ain't one of them. Chris, why are you mumbling? Um, was I? He's not mumbling. Uh, I think he was turned on by the thought of me uh, taking advantage of him sexually. That's what it was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get your dick out of your ear, you know. <laughs> It just, seems, it just seems real, really unlikely out of the thousands of gods in, in history and even currently, uh, you know, you, the, the likelihood of you having the right one is extremely slim. Right, so if there is a, if there is a god, Go ahead. Go if, ahead. if there is a god, then, then he would have the same uh, uh, dedication to the truth that I have. If I, I am following the truth, right? So I try my best to believe things that are true and to not believe things that are false. So I don't believe, for instance, that vaccines cause autism. And that is the truth, right? So I am following the truth. If there is a God, then I am his, I am his follower because I follow the truth. Well, um, the power of the truth and why we seek it is because it, you know, comports with reality and true things flow from it. So if we're not getting true things flowing from this truth, we may have a problem. So, you know, with the vaccine thing, if vaccines are bringing us, you know, this boon of health, does, you know, the, the explosion of autistic kids, you know, kind of run into the uh, counter uh, to that? Are we going to make excuses for vaccines still being safe and, you know, vaccines being just this active genetic god that's unrelated? Or are we going to draw the correlation and say, hmm, maybe these vaccines might not be the truth that we're looking for after all. Well, I didn't bring that up, and I don't know if, if we want to have a discussion about vaccines. That was just an example. No, no, what but we as want far is, uh, as we want, we want glow proof, proof, Brenda. We want proof of a glow. Uh, chemo, I was talking, chemo, I was talking. So uh, as to the vaccines and stuff, we know for a fact that they do not cause autism, and the, the rise in autistic children is not related to vaccine use, it's related to uh, increased uh, um, diagno diagnostic abilities and a change in, in the diagnostic criteria. This has been shown, there have been countless, countless studies about this vaccine issue because it's been a big a big deal. It's much bigger deal than, than flat earth. And, and, and the results are, are really crystal, crystal clear. Well, it does go into um, the heart of belief and, and whether or not these truths, we believe these truths really link together. You know, uh, we do have a truth that, you know, vaccines, you know, exist and that autism exists as well. But I guess belief would be used to either tie them together.